Hi guys, and on this lesson, we are going to create our very own steel pan. Don't forget, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Pinterest. You need a lot of random items to create the steel pan, so I'll give you it in steps. You will need one ball pin hammer and a butter cookie tin. First, take the lid off and take the ball headed side of the hammer and create deep dents. When the dents are created, flip over the hammer to the flatter side to create back the circular shape if you lost it. If you look closely, you will realize that now I have created the belly of the pan. Next, we're going to take a nail and a hammer and punch a small hole in the skirt of the pan. The outer part of your steel pan, what I'm showing you here, that's called the skirt. Just add one hole on each side. Next, I'm going to just pick some bamboo to create your pan sticks and the pan stand. Since our steel pan is silver in color, I'm going to take some silver spray paint and just go over the tin to cover all those graphics. Next, get the skirt side of the pan and the belly side of the pan, only if you would like to color the belly. The top side of the pan, is our playing surface. Now that the three parts of the pan are covered, let's begin with the stand. I'm going to take two half inch pieces of this wire to create small hooks and that is going to represent the area where you're going to hook on the pan. Next, you're going to take these ties and add them on to a small punctured hole like we did in the beginning. Make sure to leave at least a half an inch or one inch space. This part of the pan is going to represent the hanger. And the hanger simply means the area where you hang your pan onto the stand. And it should look something like this. And here's the playing surface of our steel pan. Do you remember what I said the bottom side of the pan is? If you said belly, give yourself a clap! Next, you're going to use smaller pieces of bamboo and black electric tape or rubber bands to create the rubber side of your steel pan sticks. For the base of my steel pan, I just decided to use a recyclable cake holder. Next, I used a glue gun to stick on my stand. Last but not least, allow your child to add in the loop. Your finished product should look a little something like this. Isn't it cute? The steel pan is the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. It is the only musical instrument invented in the 20th century. It was created in the 1930s and the steel pan owes its own genesis to the carnival festivals of that era. The steel pan it emerged as the product of the energy of the people directed towards culture, self-expression. The steel pan therefore became a cultural vehicle forged from the historical and social conditions prevailing at that time. That's the reason the development of the steel pan was modeled by the ethnic influences of our heritage. All about our pan pioneers. 
a resident of John John in Port of Spain, Mr. Winston Spree Simon is famous for his role in developing the ping pong, which became the tenor pan of today. The tenor pan is the singular steel pan. Mr. Ellie Manet is responsible for developing the concept of the concave sinking to the steel pan surface rather than the convex. He is also skilled with the tenor pan and he is also the creator of the double seconds. And here's our double second steel pan. Mr. Manet is also the creator of having the rubber which is attached to the end to the plate. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and share. Bye, guys.